So instead of keeping the money to stay alive, I took half of the money to go buy this machine. Well, I call this guy up. Hey, listen, I heard about this machine. I like to buy one. And they go, oh, that's terrific, but we're out of business. $5 million doesn't last long. And so every single month, every single month, uh, we were drawing down. You have to build it, prototype it. You have to design it, prototype it, get the silicon back, which costs a lot of money. Test it with software, which is more time, more money. And so we did the math. There was no chance somebody was going to survive it. And so I heard about this company and this company built this machine. And this machine is an emulator. You could take your design, all of the software that describes the chip, and you could put it into this machine. And this machine will pretend it's our chip. So I don't have to send it to the fab, wait until the fab sends it back, test. I could have this machine pretend it's our chip. And let's take half of the money we had left in the bank. At the time, it was about a million dollars. Take half of that money and go buy this machine. So instead of keeping the money to stay alive, I took half of the money to go buy this machine. Well, I call this guy up. Hey, listen, I heard about this machine. I like to buy one. And they go, oh, that's terrific, but we're out of business. He goes, yeah, we had no customers. So you never made the machine? They go, no, 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 we made the machine. We have one in inventory if you want it, but we're out of business. So I bought one out of inventory and on this machine, we put NVIDIA's chip into it and we tested all of the software on top. And at this point, we were on fumes, but we convinced ourselves that chip is going to be great. So we called TSMC. And I told TSMC, I explained to my, I told him I had a lot of customers. You know, we have a lot of customers and the band's really great. And we're going to tape out a chip to you. And I like to go directly to production. And they said, nobody has ever done that before. And nobody starts out production without looking at it. But I knew that if I didn't start the production, I'd be out of business anyways. And if I could start the production, I might have a chance. And so TSMC decided to support me. And uh, this gentleman is named Morris Chang. Morris Chang is the father of the foundry industry, the founder of TSMC, really great man. He decided to support our company. And as we were starting the production, Morris flew to the United States and uh, he didn't so many words ask me so, but he asked me a whole lot of questions that was trying to tease out, do I have any money? But he didn't directly ask me that, you know? And so the truth is that we didn't have all the money, but we had a strong PO from the customer. And if it didn't work, some wafers would have been lost. I, I'm, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure what would have happened, but we would have come short. But they supported us with all of that risk involved. We launched this chip. Turns out to have been completely revolutionary. We became the fastest growing technology company in history to go from zero to $1 billion.